In the last episode, my brother and I left Portland, Oregon and made our way to Utah to enjoy the sun and the Red Rocks. Specifically, we're on our way to the Needles District of Canyonlands National Park. Good morning, beautiful people. If you're new here, my name is Amanda Zitto and this is my brother, Gary. <laughs> we're currently on our tour of Southeast Utah. We're very stoked today. We're headed to Canyonlands. We have a very nice campground already booked and I'm just very excited to be in the Red Rocks. <laughs> they are pretty. <laughs> uh, we stayed here at the National Nine Hotel in Wellington last night. It was cheap, it was comfortable, it was clean. No complaints. There's even a cafe, like pretty much a part of the hotel. Anyway, we should probably get packed up and get going. Here we go. <laughs> Thanks to Revzilla for sponsoring this series and making it possible. Revzilla is the number one online retailer for motorcycle riding gear, parts, and accessories, including this kryptonite keeper disc lock I keep on the Africa Twin at night so I know she's safe. Check the description below for our full list of kit available on Revzilla that we took to Utah with us. In order to get to the Needles District of Canyonlands National Park, you have to navigate through a beautiful stretch of Highway 211, also known as Indian Creek Corridor Scenic Byway, which runs through a patchwork of BLM, private, and Utah State Trust lands. There's actually a few points of interest along this route before you even get to the boundary of the park, including Newspaper Rock, a collection of petroglyphs over 2,000 years old. but the scenery alone is well worth the drive. We stayed at Needles Outpost, a privately owned campground inside the park boundary we found and booked with Hip Camp. It was the perfect launching point to explore Needles and the other formations along the route in and out of this area. We picked a site that budded right up against a rock formation in the middle of the campground, set up camp, and Gary proceeded to find himself a cave. Right. 
brother well we managed to arrive at camp and check in when we were supposed to before five however that also meant we got to enjoy the rest of the the last of the heat of the day we could not bring ourselves to set up our tents in that heat so i made a sh makeshift shade shelter and napped and brother sat in a chair in the, and behind the tree that had shade and there's this beautiful big rock that dominates this campground. Um, we're at Needles Outpost, just outside of Canyonlands National Park. And I am pleasantly surprised so far. It's a very nice campground. There's showers. And a bathroom. And a bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> and the temperature started getting nice around 645. So we set up tents and started making dinner. And I know it doesn't look like it right now, but we're eating and it's not dark. It is not dark. I think it's technically the blue hour now. It is the blue hour now, yes. I'm very proud of us. We're having uh, mushrooms, green beans, and pesto pasta for dinner. It's very good. It is very good. I'm proud. <laughs> <laughs> and tomorrow, brother, we're going to go explore needles. Yay. I'm excited. <laughs> Hopefully it's not too hot. <laughs> right. <laughs> it got dark. Mm -hmm. Well, we're gonna clean up dishes and go to bed. We'll see you guys in the morning. Well, good morning, beautiful people from Needles Outpost outside of Canyonlands National Park. Brother picked an excellent spot for us because our campsite is still in the shade and some other people's have already seen the sun. And it's a little bit after eight o'clock now and our tents are still in the shade. Thank you, brother. You're welcome. <laughs> As the helicopter flies over. It actually rained last night. I had to hustle out of my tent at midnight to go pick up my camera. <laughs> But it's also made the air nice and cool this morning. Yes. Which is a nice reprieve from the heat that we experienced when we got here yesterday. Today we're gonna go check out Needles Visitor Center, maybe do a couple of the short hikes, and see where the day takes us. It's kind of nice to have a home base. We're here for two nights, and not having to worry about packing up the tents this morning is kind of nice. Yes. It's a little luxurious. <laughs> My brain was like, we need to plan more rest days. And then the other part of my brain was like, and then we can't get as far. <laughs> <laughs> Canyonlands National Park is carved into three districts. Island in the Sky, The Maze, and The Needles. 
It is over 300,000 acres, which means it could swallow the city of Chicago. The Maze District is the most difficult and desolate part of the park to visit, requiring a high clearance vehicle and is more like a multi-day expedition. Island in the Sky is the most visited district of the park and the most friendly for a drive-by visit, but we chose to explore the Needles District, tucked away 70 miles south of Moab. The Needles' key feature is a network of hiking and backpacking trails. Cave Spring Trail is a short loop hike less than a mile round trip. It leads to a historic cowboy camp established in the late 1800s. Ranching and canyon country required cowboys to live in isolated camps like this. This camp was established here because Cave Spring, a little further down the trail, was a reliable water source. Rainwater percolating through the layers of porous sandstone forms these seeps. Handprints and paint figures on the wall remind us that the ancestors of Native Americans occupied these canyons six millennia before the cattlemen arrived, about 6,000 to 700 years ago. Well, brother, we have made it back to camp right as blue hour is setting. I call that a win. Yes. <laughs> we didn't know if we were going to make it back to camp before the sun set, and it was dark, dark, but we managed it. It was a nice, long, it was a long day, but it was a good day. It was a good day. Yes. After we finished our hike in Candylands, we headed back to Moab and had dinner at a wonderful little Italian restaurant. It was good food. Very good. And I was zonked afterwards. <laughs> and, uh... Needles Outpost is like 70 miles from Moab, so we still had like a good hour and a half drive back to camp. <laughs> but it was worth it. It was good. Totally worth it. It was totally worth it. I got a new hat band. We got good food. Yes. Yes. And now I'm going to go to bed. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Hit that like and subscribe button if you did. Question for my end screen crew. Would you drive 140 miles round trip just to get pasta? Obviously we did. I would. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely check out the links in the description for all of our kit from our favorite online resource from Revzilla. And in the meantime, guys, I'll see you later. <laughs>